some of you are passing through unfavorable seasons that season is driving you to pray in tongues every day after all there's no job and god has seen that there is an advantage in that season i assure you you won't be in a hurry to bring a job he has found out that that situation is birthing something out of you for our light afflictions he says which walketh in us a far more exceeding weight of glory Welcome to Kingdom Mirrors TV. On this channel, we post edifying content for your spirit and daily living. Kindly like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notification to get notified each time we post. Thank you, stay blessed, and enjoy this video. Some of you are passing through unfavorable seasons. That season is driving you to pray in tongues every day. After all, there's no job. And God has seen that there is an advantage in that season. I assure you, you won't be in a hurry to bring a job. He has found out that that situation is birthing something out of you. For our light afflictions, he says, which worketh in us a far more exceeding weight of glory. Because there are people who are about to enter new seasons in their lives. You've been going through seasons that you cannot explain. Lord, give me a definition of what is happening to me. And the Lord put this conference together to bring answers to you. And he's telling you rejoice not over your tragedy. Rather rejoice in the Lord because he's doing something in your life. And can I tell you, when God is done with you like the rising of the sun, you will emerge with power and grace and stamina and wisdom. You will stand with uncanny mastery as you administer the anointing of the Spirit. Because you are not just one who read your Bible. You went through a school in the Spirit. Woe betides any nation whose king is a child. You know what it means to be a child? There is a requisite level of innocence you must give up if you want to sit in the place of authority. By innocence, I mean naivety. Father, I want you to use me mightily. I want to be a great man of God. Father, I want to be a kingdom billionaire, you say, and he's watching you vetting the sincerity mixed with childishness that is rubbing off in prayer and he says are you ready to drink of my cup and usually you will say yes and in your mind you believe that everything is all right he says hold my hand and let's go for the journey and before you go he says hold on eat first because you have no idea where you are going to do you know what it means to eat to eat means take advantage of every privilege you have now because when you start that journey for 40 days you might not see anybody again so some of you here are about to start that season and god is saying eat free prayer every time you have any trouble you just call and someone picks your phone he said take advantage of that season because the season you are about to enter i will prohibit you from calling anyone you will walk your faith till it works by itself eat for the journey is far and you've eaten and he's tapping you and he's saying eat again whoever knew that the pandemic will bring the world to this kind of state that it literally resets the life and the destinies of other people there are people today who have not even gained their footing suicide everywhere but there are those who are saying lord there is something i know about you hmm. that though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death thou art with me i will fear no evil for your rod and your staff they comfort me notice his voice was not mentioned there your rod and your staff how does a rod and staff create comfort but he says they comfort me every great man you know if they are to be sincere with you if they want to really teach you the secret to their exploits you will cry at the end of the story because they will not tell you what you want to hear they will tell you seasons of pain they will tell you about seasons when i have the privilege and the honor of sitting with great people i sit quietly like a sponge i'm not interested in all the glamour tell me the stories 
if he's a minister of the gospel i'll tell him i don't want to hear about signs and wonders let me let me just know unfortunately our world today does not have any regard for scars no you see the palace can so decorate you it will look like you don't have a scar always remind those in the palace that this robe of royalty came because there is a scar and there are times you must be honest to show them the scar there is a reason why the scar is on the hand of jesus he does not wear gloves even though he's royalty he leaves the scar for you to see and to remind you that if you are going to follow in his steps it is not just about prayer and impartation alone there are wells you must dig dear man of god there are wells you must dig not everything will just come by praying for me there are times you will cry you will have to make that history by yourself my assignment tonight is to bring you comfort by the spirit and then to pray that the staying power because some of you are almost the season is almost coming to an end don't give up one day to the end of the season you can abort the season pastor Nat came up here and sang by the spirit waiting 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 is painful waiting is not a parable it means wait and the human spirit interprets waiting as irresponsibility because we are people of action why do i sit down doing nothing oh god with all this confusion in my life and he says it is there that wait upon the lord are we together the more we pass through these seasons there is something about God. There is a way you see God that is different when you are in fire. There is no other way of seeing God that way until you are in fire. Are we together? Believe me, there is a price. There are some things you cannot pray away. You will have to pass through it. If you are Jesus and you intend to sit on the throne, Get ready for the cross. Not only will you be hung there, you will carry it. You will first carry it before you die on it. I don't mean to scare you, but the Holy Ghost granted me the release to teach this. There are messages that will not make sense now, but seasons will come when you will need them. No matter how bright a light I give you, if it is in the day, you don't need it. Just keep that light. Because when you get to the night, you will need that light for advancement the most important component in your car if it's in the night is your headlamp not the color of the car not even the type of the car we can rejoice at the glamour of the car in the day but once we get to the night time be sure that while we are rejoicing in the day your headlamp is all right because he made two great lights there is a light you will need in the night the darkness that is looming across the earth requires a high level spiritual understanding two categories of people here number one those who are already in this season praying and saying apostle i have been praying and asking god to give a definition to what is happening to me i lost a loved one I lost money something seems to not just add up with my life and destiny my ministry my business what what is the meaning of that and God is bringing perspective may I remind you again who sinned that this man was born blind it is not always a sin issue Jesus said neither not his father not him but that in that entire experience there is glory that shall be birthed through this hear me man of god you are going through what you are going through because of a mantle that is waiting for you kingdom billionaire forget about all the dreams you've been having with you having money if you really want that dream to become a reality more than just saying i receive by faith i tell you there are seasons you will step into a season where god will ask you to empty your account on top of the cry you have cried after crying for six hours, you think he will send a destiny helper. He will ask you, empty what is left first. And you sit down there not knowing whether you are a Christian or not again. And he tells you, that is the qualification for being my treasurer. 
From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name is to be hallowed. For those people who are going through those seasons, I believe that the Lord brought me here tonight as a prophetic midwife because some of you, those seasons are coming to an end. And like a woman who is ready to give birth to a season of glory, God has sent us as prophetic midwives that it is time to push. The glory you saw yesterday is nothing compared to that which His Majesty will be bringing upon your life. And believe me, let me speak to someone, it will be in your lifetime you will see the birth of that glory. That your life will become a testament of the faithfulness and the mercy of God. People will look at your life and they will learn God. Your life will be a handout. It will be a lecture manual. That if people do not understand anything about God, he will refer them to you. And say, understudy the life of this my servant. And you will have clarity as to how I walk. The second category of people are those who are about to enter this season. I wish I were not the one who would tell you. But let me be honest with you in the name of Jesus and in the name of honesty. If it's advancement that you desire, ask Jesus what he faced on his way to Gadara. You would think that the storm would spare Jesus. It still came. This would not be the kind of message I want to preach. And I, I apologize. For the discomfort this will bring to your emotions except that you will thank me soon because many of you you have been eating now you are not eating for nothing don't mind your weight it will shed it off i assure you the the way the journey will stretch you from border to border you will stretch it through so that when those moments come you will reject the voice of the adversary who comes to lie to you and say, man of God, if you are really anointed, what is wrong with you? Tell him, get thee behind me. I will go through my seasons with honor. I will go through it with nobility and integrity, knowing this, that when he's tried me, I will become refined as gold. That some of you can stand before the dead body of a loved one and with tears in your eyes, you will still believe God has called you to the miracle ministry. When people are asking you and saying, never talk about that vision of crusades again. You could not raise this dead body. Shame on you and your destiny. You can find comfort knowing that his word concerning me remains true. Can we pray for a few minutes? Please rise upon your feet. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the sun, your name is to be hallowed. Adonai. One more time. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name is to be hallowed. Prayer point number one. If you turn aside in the day of battle, your strength is small. Lord, grant me an infusion of strength and stamina for the seasons ahead. Please lift your voice and pray. Grant me an infusion of strength. Someone is praying.